So Erwin is originally a group of five artists working together. The name is actually a found name. That's the whole logic that we have is about appropriation. So it is about uh, things that already exist. When you look at their artworks, there is something from the sampling culture also in their works. I mean, the, the, the 1980s is the, also this first moment where you have those machines where you can cut, steal something, uh, edit, and put it in a new construction. And I think Irvin has a practice that on a visual part, mimicries the, the practice of sampling. I did a big retrospective of, you know, the first 20 years of Irvin. When the 40th anniversary approached, then together with Thibault, we thought like, you know, what could we do? I mean, I personally already did this kind of classical retrospective, very much following, you know, Irvin's own narrative. And now we need to do something different. So that it's not just a pure chronology, but to find some topics, some themes that go through 40 years of production, that also go through the production of the five members, so that we kind of link everything. I lend it to the, the question of black humor. First, it was more or less defined by André Breton in 1940, when he published a book called Anthologie de l'humour noir. As Breton is the, one of the founding members of surrealism. The real early name of Irvin is R. Irvin S. R and S for Rose Selavi. Rose Selavi, a pseudonym for Marcel Duchamp, who was a member from the Surrealist. So you see already how much Irvin is quoting and referring and turning around. From the beginning, we were tried to be seen as ironical. Fact is that we never were. We always negated such a, a suggestion. We never joked about it. We were deadly serious about our work. They go frontal against the Yugoslavian state. I mean, this is, this is a joke. But it's a very dangerous one. It's kind of a very, you, you're getting at risk by provoking that way. The, the black humor is the humor that helps us coping with the world. some installations they take existing artworks you know originals by other artists and they reframe these artworks with their typical Irwin frames. Artworks from the collection of Museum Ostwal uh, could possibly be reframed. Why not use uh, this nine-part series of Bernd and Hiller Becher depicting winding towers? So the towers that you find at every coal mine that brings the coal miners down to, to the coal mine and brings them up again. Or some of its members are coming from Trobovlje, which is uh, a mining town in Slovenia. Of course, here in the Ruhr area, we are in a, in a huge mining area. So it just kind of felt natural to take the Becher works and frame them with Irvin frames. I don't think they are conceptual artists. They even have their, their genre for their own. It's like, it's very difficult to locate them into like, is this, is this postmodern? Is this neo postmodern? You might even know that they invented his own term to define themselves called the, the retro avant-garde. I mean, retro is supposed to be in the back, avant is supposed to be in the front. It's very confusing if you imagine what it means in terms of direction. We never were interested in you know, reflecting what is going on in the world now. We did want to project somehow what's going on in the future. We never really directly comment political reality. Even in the time of the conflict of Yugoslavia, but we did project related to it. The, 
the huge changes that came along in Yugoslavia uh, with the disintegration of the country uh, since 91 and uh, how they also in this situation came up with this concept, for example, of the NSK state in time, uh, you know, a state without territory, which was diametrically opposed to what we know as a state, which is always founded on a territory and borders and border control. Our answer to the conflict was creation of NSK state in time. This ideological apparatus of in East Europe, Yugoslavia fell apart. In order to be again a state artist, we should create our own state. So in this state, we were again the state artist. Of course, at the beginning, we organized this more, more or less for ourselves, but with a passport and with a, uh, a website, uh, nskstate.com, done by the Greek designer Haris Hararis, citizens started to participate. Doesn't have a territory, doesn't have a nation state, but it issues passports. They, they serve as a kind of confirmation of temporal space. And this is the first global state, which you know can pop up here and there. Temporary embassies, temporary consulates, uh, which are always kind of platforms for exchange with the local context. They are always very proud to say our state uh, by now is bigger than the Vatican. One of the installations in the exhibition also functions as a passport office. Uh, so every Friday, Saturday and Sunday the passport office is open. If you want to become a citizen of the NSK state in time, you can apply for a passport. These two twins on the photographs, they are my close friends. It is the way how to see this tragical thing, 9-11. Uh, through different approaches, through the eyes of the small kids, small child, and through the eyes of the victims, uh, which are not seen through the media, through the television. So it is some kind of interpretation of the, of the thing uh, through a childish game. We are all trained painters. <laughs> our our uh, work together in times when painting was extremely popular. And also the, the academy we were going on was uh, very traditional. We had a classical training, drawing in the first year, uh, then paint, start to paint in the second year, so anatomy of human and animals and uh, classical technology. And so basically, uh, academy gave us a knowledge to, to the paintings we were doing. We use this knowledge in a positive way. When we start, uh, we found Malevich uh, in the situation quite similar to our position because he was starting his career in the period of revolution and it was a period of uh, socialism coming. So when uh, Lenin dies, Stalin appears and his position changed completely. He became a completely unwanted guy. And uh, our position was quite similar in uh, relation to political situations. I think the core, the biggest work of Irwin is that we stay together for 40 years. That's so basically the Irwin is not the idea of project of one or two. It's really dynamic and the result of five people working for 40 years. That's, I think, is the key. We don't know what we'll be, we'll be alone. You know, maybe we'll not be even uh, outside of Slovenia. But Irwin together functioned as something, you know, and every element was necessary. To, to do what we did.